What's going on everybody? Nash Harrington with Crave Online. I'm here at the streets of Willow Springs at the Willow Springs International Raceway in Rosamond, California for the release event of Gran Turismo 6. It's finally here and I get to race a race car. Let's do this. Uh, I'm Takumi Masaki and I am the North American producer for Gran Turismo 6 and I've always been for the past games as well. We really put a lot of work on the, the community aspect of it. Um, GT5 was the first game that had online features on it and so that, that game kind of became a test for us in terms of how getting user feedback. We think we, we, we learned from that and we put our best effort to make that, that feature robust in GT6. As time goes by, the game's going to keep growing. We're going to have tons of DLCs. Um, we're going to keep adding cars, tracks to the game. So the game, as you, as you possess the game, you'll see the game grow, grow bigger and bigger. We have this interesting project going on with Toyota. We call it the GPS visualizer um, feature. And um, Toyota's uh, CAN Gateway ECU uh, device is making that uh, possible. Essentially what you're doing is like, um, if you know like Nike Plus or like I don't know, any of those apps where you go outside and fitness, fitness apps, you get to map it on your phone. It's kind of similar to that. Yeah. We're going to take a USB memory stick when you drive the uh, Scion FRS. And again, it, right now it only works on the Scion F FRS and they plan to use it for other cars in the future. But um, you use the memory stick in the car, you, you take a couple laps on the track uh, and you come back and use that memory stick, stick it in the PlayStation, and you get to see your lap out there in Gran Turismo 6. So we can do that so long as the track is in the game. This is an exciting feature, especially with this track, like I said, is like a, a people's track where on weekends people come out and, and race their cars out there and, and they know their lap times and they want to improve it. You know, next weekend they, they come back and do it again. So it's a great app for somebody like that who, who likes to come, come to, tr to tracks like this. So before I actually go out and drive the real streets of Willow Springs, let's test it out on the game, the new Gran Turismo 6. I'm going to play the streets of Willow Springs and get ready for the real streets of Willow Springs. Let's do this. I'm going to get the FRS. It's the real car I'm going to use, so i got to get used to that. And you know what? What the hell? Let's try manual transmission. That's going to be on that, right? just ran me off the road. Come on, truck. I won. I just won the game. I win at life. Let's go win on the track. Come on, let's get out there. The time has finally come for me to get behind the wheel of a brand new FRS. Let's do this. Well guys, that was pretty awesome. Uh, I have to be honest, after driving the car, surprisingly, it really does handle really similarly to the way that the cars handle in the games. I mean, that is definitely, I gotta give Gran Turismo credit, that is one of the cool things about their games is that it is probably the most realistic uh, uh, example of what it's like to drive these real cars on these real tracks. The second thing that I learned is that I drove that car like a wuss out there. I did not push the car as hard as I could have. Uh, when I came back in and plugged the, the, the thumb drive into, into the PlayStation and it started playing back everything that I did, uh, there were times where I assumed I've got to be driving pretty decent speed and uh, no, I was going like 30 miles an hour around a turn. Now. I did find out that um, after talking to one of the professional drivers, some of those turns are taken by the professional drivers at like 30 miles an hour. All in all, the day was pretty awesome. Um, I had a really good time. 
and it was pretty fun to uh, live vicariously through, uh, through a race car driver for a day. Until next time, see you guys later.